Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pinarios, and welcome back to Fortnite. I know it's been a long time. It's been about three weeks since my last video, but I had to take some time off of YouTube and gaming overall for medical reasons. If you guys watched my video yesterday, my Batman Telltale video, then you've already heard this, but if you guys mostly just watch the Fortnite stuff, then I'm going to say it again here. But anyways, today we're going to be getting into a couple of things. We're going to be doing a mission solo. Number one, so that I can show you guys this hero I got. And also so I can show you guys the Defender that I got from one of the quest lines that Epix has been releasing every couple of weeks. Now, if we take a look at this hero, you've already seen this archetype before. If you guys remember my... If you guys remember my Winter Soldier showcase. The Soldier... Let me see if I can show you in the collection book. Because I've recently scrapped him because i got her because i like the way that she looks a lot better than the way he looked so let's see if i can go down and find the winter winter heroes right here holiday survival yeah this guy right here so you've already seen this dude and i'm going to be linking the video so you guys can take it take a look at it if you haven't watched it but you've already seen this guy and she is the same archetype as this guy so if we go and take a look at her skills real quick so this hero is all about grenades. So if we take a quick look at her skills. So of course she gets frag grenade at level 1. She gets debilitating shots. Which will apply a 15% debuff to enemies. The reason why I say 15% is because it stacks up to 3 times. And at level 5 she gets a new ability called explosive rounds. Where every 10 enemies she kills. There's an explosion that deals around 300 damage in a 1 tower radius. And the count will reset if I go 15 seconds without a kill. But the mission we're going to be doing today, I don't have to worry about that. So at level 8, she gets pull the pin, which will reduce the cost of frag grenades by 30. When you evolve her once, you get war cry, which is a amazing ability. And what her war cry does is it gives 40% more damage to range and melee weapons and also grants 40% attack speed for range weapons and a 16% attack speed for melee weapons and it lasts for 10 seconds. Now one thing that's cool about her as well as Fragment Furry Jess is that she comes with a generation ability. So at level 12 she gets grenade generation where every 20 kills I get one grenade back. So no matter what the cooldown is or what cooldowns left I will get a grenade back if I get 20 kills. At level 15, she gets Mighty Roar, which increases the range of Warcry by 55%. This might come in handy when I try to power up my defenders, because they do benefit from the effects of Warcry. At level 18, she gets Make It Rain, where any headshots I get will increase the range weapon rate of fire by 25% for 5 seconds. So when I get into my support classes, you'll see why I chose who I chose. So when you evolve her for a second time, you get Shockwave, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen Shockwave before, but you jump into the air and you smash back a lot of people. Unlike the Berserker Soldier, her Shockwave will actually push people back rather than stun them. Now what's also cool about her Shockwave is that at level 25, Shockwave will apply a slow to damage targets, reducing their movement speed and attack speed by 30% for 4.5 seconds. And finally, at level 30, she gets Cluster Bomb. And every grenade I throw will release 6 cluster explosions around the impact site that each do 25% of my original damage. So now, if we get on to what I'm going to be using for my squad bonuses, I'm going to be putting Urban Assault Headhunter in the support slot because she comes with a 27% increased damage to headshots for range weapons. And I'm going to be using Plasma Specialist Iza, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before, because of her Plasma Grenade ability. Now what that does is it gives all grenades an affliction, so it will deal 8% extra energy damage every half second for 3 seconds. So that's going to make her grenades even more powerful. Now I also, if you guys remember, I also said I wanted to look at the new Defender that we got from the questline. So if you guys haven't got to that part of the questline, you actually get Val on for the brave beginnings quest line that starts on page five so complete this quest line and you'll be rewarded with val i'm pretty sure you guys already have her if you've been keeping up with how things are going but if we take a quick look at val's skills she gets increased melee weapon damage 
she gets increased movement speed, she gets increased weapon crit chance, which is going to be good for the weapon I give her, and increased melee weapon crit damage, which is going to be amazing for the weapon I give her. And the weapon I plan to give her, you've already seen if you have been keeping up with my videos, but it's going to be the Slice and Dice. So the Slice and Dice I was lucky enough to get comes with three times the crit chance and it comes with Fire Affliction. So if you look at the stats, it has 73% crit chance and 50% crit damage. And so the crit damage that Val gets is going to be added to that and the crit chance. So now that I'm done talking, it was a lot of talking. We're going to get into a Deliver the Bomb mission. And I got to make sure that I'm going to the solo so I can show you the defenders. I'm going to be using Val, but I'm also going to be using this sniper defender here as backup because melee defenders, in my experience, they don't really move out of B storms and stuff, so she might go down a lot, so I might be trying to revive her. But anyways, let's get into this Deliver the Bomb mission, and let's showcase Val and this hero. Stand by for an important weather alert. Okay, so we're in. Now, if you guys have never done a Deliver the Bomb mission, the what we have to do is a couple of things. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find two different sites. We have to find the rift site and we have to find the bomb armory. So lucky enough, we spawn directly next to the bomb armory. So let's go ahead let's and the activate the armory. The armory is now active. Okay, so this is to where we would... Bomb, add blue glow. I'll just let Ray tell it. Okay, so we would come here and we get the bomb from here. And we need to find where the bomb site, the rift site is in order to deliver the bomb to. So let's go and look for that. But we also have to keep an eye out for blue glow because as you can see, we need four blue glow in order to produce our first bomb. So we're going to look for the site and we're going to keep an eye out for some blue glow. Now the sites usually appear near the rift, so you guys can see a rift right down there. So I'm pretty sure the bomb, the launcher is going to be near the rift. So let's go in... Yeah, let's go and grab that. Wait, actually, first I should probably switch up my weapons. Let's use my Razorback, and let's use... Actually, I'm going to make a new shotgun. Okay. Okay, so the bomb site should be there somewhere is. around here. Time to shut it down, Commander. Yep, there it is. So, our the whole goal of this mission is to destroy that now rift the with the bomb. So let's get over there and do that. Let's kill these guys first. I'm going to show you this grenade. Cat. Yeah, and you can see the little mini cluster bombs. It didn't hit that guy, unfortunately, because he was already down. Alright, well, let's get Shockwave going. Oh, that killed him. <laughs> I wanted to see the, the slow. Maybe it'll work on the mini boss. We'll see. Okay, so now that we have the launcher down, I think I'm going to build first, and then I'm going to go and look for the remaining blue gold that I need. So, let's get building. The way I usually do this, it didn't actually say if there was going to be what what enemy type we're going to be fighting so maybe i should find the blue glow first before i stop building because i don't want to build something that the enemy type we're going to be fighting can just break easily so let's go find the blue glow and once i find that i'll meet you guys back at the bomb all right i didn't find enough blue glow yet but i did find a storm chest so let's activate this and see if i can show you guys some of the combat with this hero before we get into the fight so if you guys already know the goal of this is to kill 50 enemies in the time that we have. So let's just start with this real quick. Alright, let's use Shockwave here. Alright. See if those cluster bombs will do any work. Let's use Warcry just to get some more damage. Let's try to stay around these clusters. Yeah, if you guys noticed there, there was an explosion there. That was from me already killing 10 enemies. Let's toss another grenade. Yeah, that was another one right there. Nope. Yeah, it act it activates pretty often, seeing as it the cost is so low, it's only 10. Shockwave these guys. Wow, we actually got to 50? No freaking way. Alright, let's take out this taker. Oh, big guy. Alright. Store grenade at you. Yeah, cluster bombs do work. I love them so much. Jeez. Alright, you're done. I actually did it by myself. I usually do that with my um 
Flag me for a jest. I've never actually done it with this hero doing a solo. That's awesome. Okay, so let's get back to finding Blue Glow. And then we can get started once again. I love how when you're actually looking for Blue Glow, you can't find it. But when you're not, you find it everywhere. Okay, so we're back at the bomb. Finally got enough Blue Glow to get this thing started. So let me just kill these guys real quick, because I know they're going to be an issue. Might as well get this out the way. Excuse me, little guys. Okay, that last guy seems to be behind a wall, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so let's get this started. I've added some tracks to your inventory. Okay, now is it going to tell me what type of enemies I'm fighting? When you're ready, connect the armory to the launcher. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't tell me just yet. So let's let's do what she just said and connect the armory to the launcher. I'm going to make two more of these because it's never going to be only 20. Now, we need to get from A and we need to go to B. So let's just start. Hopefully, we can do that effectively. I think we can go down here. Let's see. Nope. Got to break this, of course. Actually, I'm going to need the metal, I think. I'm going to try to avoid uh, as much of this stuff as possible. So if it looks like I'm going in a zigzag pattern, it's because I am. Not what? Oh, I can't place it because of this. Let's just kill these guys. Got you something. Keep coming. Wow, that worked pretty effectively. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's never going to be 20. Let's see, if there's a way down over here, that'd be amazing. Okay, I can go down, I can go back up. Oh, okay. So I gotta go this way. Hopefully I can make use of that wood. Alright, now we're connected. Oh, don't do it. Next we'll need to transport the bomb to the launcher. Don't worry about building defenses around the track. If the bomb is destroyed, we can always make another. Okay, yeah, let's let's hope we don't have to make another. Follow the bomb and keep it safe during transport. So I'm gonna do that after I build. Actually, you know what? I can't because I don't know what enemies we're fighting yet. So let's head back to the bomb site. And let's escort the bomb here. Then I'll know what enemies we're fighting. I'm so glad they added this hoverboard. Makes travel so much easier, especially when you're solo. So much easier. Was it? There's a ton of blue go around the bomb site. I should have maybe looked. Okay, let's activate the bomb. The bomb is on the move. Keep it safe. All right, now I gotta protect it from anything and everything. Toss a grenade there. Kill you guys. I got another one for you guys. There you go. I was hoping the cluster. Oh, the cluster did kill them. No, 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 no. Don't touch it. The bomb is taking damage. The bomb's fine, Ray. Relax. The bomb is blocked. Yeah, it was blocked by my body. Heads up, people. Yep, sorry, I can't let you guys have that. A lot of people get on top of the bomb. I've never been able to do it because I'm usually the ones fighting. So I'm gonna try to stay on top of here. And shoot. Catch. Come on, kill them. Thank you. Oh, you didn't die from that? Lucky. Yeah, you guys are getting nowhere close to this bomb, I guarantee you. I'm just gonna go for a little ride. Where'd this blue glow come from? Because I know that wasn't always there. Let's grab this. I don't know what I'm gonna grab it for. Maybe if I need to up the difficulty. But I don't think this mission has a a pylon. It might. We'll see. Come on, bomb. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? Wow. I definitely created a snake path, didn't I? 
It throws off my aim so much. Okay, I'm gonna ignore those guys because I don't think they're gonna catch up. Actually, no, yeah, they are. Toss a grenade that way. Come on, Cluster Bombs, do your work. Awesome. That was great. I love this gun too. Razorback. It's a burst fire weapon that you can actually hold down. So I'm just holding on the trigger now. But I tend to get into the habit of just clicking as I go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to speed this part up because this is actually taking a long time. I wish we had more emotes. Hopefully they're going to be adding more emotes soon. See, there we go. I called it. Just toss a grenade down to you guys. That's not going to work. All right. Just send you guys with that. Nice and easy. Yeah, just hit me. Don't hit the bomb. Oh, that actually killed that guy. I thought it rolled down the hill. That's fantastic. This is an awkward spot. Not possible. See, bomb has so much health that you'd have to be real neglecting to make the bomb explode. Uh, the bomb is taking damage. I don't even think that Hus hit the bomb. I think he just touched it, and it said the bomb took damage. The bomb is blocked. Wow! Something. Right on the bomb. Oh wow, two spots. I gotta look out for those two spots when I start building. Nope. Let's just throw a grenade at you. I know that's kind of pointless. What? Oh wow, you survived. Cluster bombs didn't even get them. I think they rolled down the hill. Okay. Almost there. Any day now. Grenade. We made it. There we go. Awesome. Take a moment to appreciate how cool that is. All right, let's get rid of. <sighs> is it this one I can get rid of? No, it's thing. not. Let's get rid of this one because it's going to be in the way of my building. The bomb has been loaded into the launcher. The okay, launcher so bombs in the launcher. The Defend the launcher and prepare for some unwanted guests. Now, do I get to see what I'm fighting? Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to do what I usually do, and I'm going to build this out of metal. And hopefully we don't get any nature enemies, because that would suck. So the reason why I chose to do a defend the bomb mission rather than uh, Atlas mission for my solo venture is because I've read somewhere that the storm only comes from one area and it doesn't rotate. So as I can see, it's only going to be coming from the west so hopefully the defenders i'm using will be able to help me protect it and plus i'm gonna be adding a buttload of traps so i might not have too much to worry about we'll see but i def but i definitely want to see val in action okay so now that all that's done let's start with the floor i can't put anything there unfortunately because i don't think i can destroy that spot so we're just going to ignore that and continue building now i also can't build anything here so this is going to be a real interesting spot so i think what i want to do here is add a roof because if they walk straight down to that side shock them here and i'm going to you know what let's do a wall pusher here this should be interesting i don't know how it's going to work but i'm gonna put wall pushers all around actually i don't need them in the back so i'm not, I'm not going to waste any in the back let's put them there and here and do another one there and let's just fill this whole section out as well and I'm gonna add the same ceiling traps I added on the other side there now we have a pretty generous build limit so I'm gonna use as much of it as I can without going over because I really don't want to go over okay so what else do we need we need some floor traps actually you know what first thing we need is we're gonna need Val so let's destroy some of this because I have an idea of how I want to what I want to do with her okay so I want her to be the forefront of things so I'm gonna put her here and let's drop down Val and let's give her the slice and dice hopefully that thing doesn't break on her I'm pretty sure it won't and I'm gonna put some 
I'm pretty sure I have ice traps. Yeah, I definitely do. Let's throw some ice traps around. So I think she has a pretty generous radius. So I'm gonna leave her like that. And I need to get on top of here. And I need to add a roof to this as well. And I'm gonna put my sniper defender up here. Now you don't necessarily need to cover this area, but I do anyways, just because I'm a little OCD about things not looking protected. Okay, so that's all good. And you know what? I'll waste the wood and upgrade that as well. Okay, so now let's put down another defender pad. I'm gonna actually put it right here. Hopefully he doesn't get destroyed as well. But let's pop him down and, oh, I can give him the crossbow? No way. Is he accurate enough? We'll see if he's accurate enough. I'm gonna give him 500. Cause there's no way he's gonna go through 500. Then again, he might, who knows. I'm gonna put a roof on this as well because I don't want him to get destroyed. So let's put a roof on that. This should be interesting. I don't know how good he's gonna be, actually. Okay, so I think I am pretty much done. I know I probably should put some more walls down there, but eh, we're gonna see what happens. Now what I'm gonna put here is some healing stuff. And I also wanna put a, I wanna make a couple campfires just in case Val needs some healing. Cause I actually haven't used those in the main game just yet, but I'm pretty sure she can use those. All right, I think I'm ready. So we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so let me start this. All right, so four minutes, we got this. Wow, that's a lot up there. That's such an awkward spot to defend. All right, let's see how Val works. I need help. You don't need help, but I'll help you. All right, let me focus on my own. I'm gonna let her take that side. If anything gets close, she'll handle it, hopefully. Shocking all you guys. It's so good when they cluster up like that. Is my sniper defender doing anything? Cause I don't hear him shooting. He has to be. Let's see if I can power them up. All right, I got this just for you. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, buddy. Okay, so that setup I have there is actually working out pretty good. Let me blow this whole area up. Is Val still up or is she down? I think Val's good. Yeah, she's good. Let's kill this guy up here because he's going to be an issue for Val. Alright. Are you still shooting? You are. I probably should have gave him a different sniper rifle. No way the mini boss is here already. Wall weakening, shielded. Maybe he doesn't like traps. I don't know what kind of mini boss he is. Okay, I think he's a trap. I, do, I think he doesn't like traps. So let me just keep... No, 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 no. Can't let you destroy this smasher. Mini boss, go away. Go away, mini boss. Almost, almost done, almost done. Okay, we're still alive. We're still good, we're still good. Okay, so my sniper defender's down. I think Val is still up. Okay, this is a little hectic. A little bit hectic, a little bit hectic. We got this. We're good, we're good. Wow. This is crazy. Okay. Come on, gotta get these blasters down. I think they increased the damage of the blasters. I think Val is still alive. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yo, these smashers came in full force. Holy crap. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Come on, traps. Do your work. We'll be good. We'll be good. Five seconds. All we need is five seconds. I cannot believe my defender is still alive. Well, my melee defender is still alive. And I'm dead. Come on, nope, we got this. Yeah, these blasters are insane. Come on, reload. Throw a grenade over there, I'm dead again. 
Is Val dead or is she still alive? I think Val's dead now. Yeah, she's dead now. All right, three seconds. Wow. Launch is going down too. All right, time to start blowing everything up. Okay, this is not a good idea. I thought it would be, but I don't think it is anymore. <laughs> 30 seconds. All we need is 30 seconds. Yeah, that sniper defender was useless. Oh, did we lose? I think we lost. Yep, we definitely lost. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Where's Val? Okay. So, sniper, sniper defenders are terrible. Definitely don't want to use sniper defenders anymore. I think it's all the blasters that were the issue. Okay, so the moral of that story is sniper defenders are useless. My melee defender Val actually lasted a lot longer than I did, which is surprising. But I think in the next episode, I'm going to try to get at least one more person or at least build a lot more traps because we only had 30 seconds left before we actually failed that. And maybe I shouldn't have given my sniper defender a crossbow. That was probably bad on my part. But anyways, I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it somehow, I don't know if you guys did enjoy it, but if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And also do me a favor and click the notification bell so that my videos will actually pop up in your subscription box because there's been some issue with YouTube where they don't pop up for at least an hour. But if you guys didn't enjoy it, leave a comment. Let me know why. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.